In today's video, we will be talking about the highly anticipated MonsterVerse movie, if you like, I don't know what to call it, Godzilla Minus One. We recently got a tease trailer for this movie that allegedly comes out in December, but the trailer and the description doesn't really tell you much. So in the war stew way and the war stew manner, I look to see if there was any plot leaks out there in this movie, potentially sounds insane if you are a godzilla fan so yo what is freaking good youtube wish you here with a video on godzilla minus one so Please, if you are new around here, why don't you subscribe? Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here to never miss any of the Marvel, DC, Kaiju, Monsterverse, what we're doing today, pop culture based content that I try to cover on a daily basis. If you could check us out on Instagram at Warstew to see the iconic, beautiful face behind the iconic, beautiful voice. Don't take me so seriously when I say that. And also, if you could check us out on X, which is also now Twitter, it's the same thing. Wish you G. Right, let's break it down. So can we first say you've obviously seen the trailer if you've clicked into this video because Godzilla fans, the monster versus quite a niche area. But damn, Godzilla, Big G, the top G, the Donis, the Alpha. Wish you stop it. Godzilla looks freaking insane. So we do have some official information that was released, the description and a plot synopsis. Then we're going to go over some plot leaks and there's some evidence to back up the insane plot detail that looks like it's true. The worst despair in this series history strikes Japan. After the war, Japan has been reduced to zero. Godzilla appears and plunges the country into a negative state. The most desperate situation in the history of Japan. Who and how will Japan stand up? Up to it. So this Toho Kaiju movie looks insane. So it comes out in the United States of America on the 1st of December, the same day the original Godzilla premiered in 1954. Let's hope it also comes out in UK as well in December because we are hyped. So this is a Toho project, I believe. Yeah, the distributor is Toho. Hopefully it comes out in the UK because the UK is a pretty good place for anything to release. So let's break it down. So like anything, it's always worth saying I can't confirm or verify if this information is true but I've been covering movies Marvel DC MonsterVerse for many years and we've gone over a lot of information and one thing I can say is more information we've gone over is right than wrong if, if that actually means anything so basically it's a remake of the 1954 with added content Two. now this is the spoiler okay technically it's plot league so it's all a spoiler Two Godzillas, one affected by nuclear testing, the other not. Okay. Then I came across this image that says new Bando Bandai movie monster series leak. Semi spoiler. There is another figure releasing for minus one. A new form like Shin Godzilla or another monster altogether. And then it says November Godzilla 995, December Godzilla minus one. Stay tuned. So does this confirm the plot leak information we've just gone over? But there is in fact two Godzillas. That's insane. Film will be played as both from a point of view from a tragedy from humanity and from Godzilla's perspective. That is so cool when they do that. Several foreign actors not well known to appear as well as Americans attempting to cover up their government possible involvement in possibly creating Godzilla with a nuclear testing and the bombing of Japan. See, it's really cool when they use unknown actors because that reduces the production cost and the cost of the movie, which means you, you're in a roundabout way you get more projects because the more money they spend, the more money it has to make in order to break even. But the less money they spend, the less well it has to do in theory to, to break even. So it's good if they are using lesser known actors, in my humble opinion. Party follows the Serizara family and their struggle during the wars and Godzilla. America funds Dr. Serizara, Oxygen... Destroyer project. Are we getting destroyer? No, calm down. And is double crossed when he steals the only prototype and burns the note after knowing he can't trust the American with such powerful weapons. Movie may be the first in Toho War of Godzilla cinematic universe if proven to be successful. So as I said, this is obviously a leak, so we don't know if it's true. But there were some additional notes that says this. Anon here 
was on the money. I presume that's who posted it. Their tail is like the Mewtwo in Pokemon. Wow. I mean, if you don't know who Mewtwo is in Pokemon, yo, where you been? Natural Godzilla design based on whales, smoother skin, head more based on Oka, one large fin like spine, and several smaller ones. Mutated Godzilla is more traditional and scaly, burnt and damaged, black scales closer to Godzilla Dirai design. Now what is interesting about this is, as I said in the prologue at the start of the video, we've only had a 30 second teaser trailer, which doesn't really show as much, which is on the same level as Godzilla x Kong The New Empire, all that did was show us the orangutan scar king and potentially foreshadow the death of godzilla and kong but they're not going to do that so there is another one which kind of goes into detail about the two different godzillas in a roundabout way and gives you a lot more kind of information so mutant godzilla equals godzilla natural godzilla normal a lot of graphs in story but basically this sarazara family was in world war ii father dies young sarazara's sister mother on the run but separated mother killed during the nukin of japan sarazara and sister grew up with different views of the world godzilla in japan unbridged rampage hurting and extremely angry and the nuke. He attacks Japan in his blind rage, which we kind of see in the trailer, only to be confronted by the other Godzilla, attempting to bring his friend home, but fails, and they get into a massive battle. Normile loses and retreats. Godzilla continues to destroy Tokyo and swims away. So it's just basically saying why the two Godzillas are going to fight. Serizaya is bitter about losing his home twice. Nukes, then Godzilla, seeing Godzilla as an American's fault and the oxygen destroyer as his means of solving this issue. As many Japanese fascinated about a weapon to destroy America after the nukes, basically Sarazaka sees the errors of his ways about revenge and burns his notes and steals the OD in order to make peace with himself. Seeing Godzilla as an equal to his pain, Americans attempt to stop him after they discover the OD is gone, but it's long gone. Godzilla and the other Godzilla have a battle at sea where Sarazaka, his fire end and sister use a small boat to get there. Sarazaka activates the OD underwater and dies, thinking he's accomplished his job, but revealed the other Godzilla took the hit from the OD in a moment of sacrifice, knocks Godzilla out of the way for his friend okay we don't know if this is true but i'd take it with a pinch of salt but it does sound like a reasonable explanation and it does make a logical sense and as i always said in the godzilla x kong the new empire videos i do want to start covering more kaiju monsterverse content but i find it hard so i wanted to find something about this movie that's coming out at the end of the year that we don't know much about and seeing as this does make sense and there is some indication that potentially there's going to be two godzillas and given it like a reason why they actually have a fight i'm so freaking hyped this movie i really hope it does release in the uk it will be freaking cool if it does, obviously there's loads of plot leaks and there's even in more depth, but I went over the two that I find the most realistic, if you ask me. But if you think this is complete nonsense, let me know down below. Hopefully we get another trailer soon because December is coming up soon. Or we get the Godzilla X Kong New Empire trailer, which we're not going to get till the end of the year from what I've been told from my trusted sources. So like always, guys, I would try my best to cover more Kaiju toho monsterverse stuff but it is hard for me to cover this kind of stuff because there's a lot of plot leaks out for godzilla x kong so you can't really do theories and stuff because real information is already out there so if you haven't already please check out the other video i did the other day explaining some stuff about the godzilla x kong new empire leak hopefully you guys like this kind of content i've been getting really positive vibes from the most recent monsterverse tohu kaiju ish kind of videos i've been doing recently so i want to do it more often so hopefully you guys like this hopefully we get a new trailer i'm trying to reach out to people i know about trailers but i can't find a solid information about when we're going to get a real trailer that could back up said plot leak and could actually tell us more about said movie it just looks like a badass godzilla movie Movie set during the war. So, like always, guys, check us out on Instagram. I wish you to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Check us out on Twitter. I wish you G. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.